Amanda Bynes Despite her fame as a teenage TV star, Amanda Bynes has returned to the classroom. Ex What I Like About You cast member Drake made some sexually charged remarks after a succession of legal issues. She went to the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in Los Angeles to further her career as a fashion designer. Phoebe Cates Phoebe Cates, whose role in Fast Times at Ridgemont High influenced millions of people's sexual growth, is now a small company owner. Blue Tree, a Manhattan store specializing in women's apparel and homewares, is owned by the former actress, who is married to Oscar winner Kevin Klein. Dylan Sprouse while Cole Sprouse, Dylan's twin brother, has kept his career in the spotlight thanks to a recent part on Riverdale, Dylan Sprouse has turned to mead instead. I mean, really. A mead brewery in Brooklyn has been opened by the erstwhile sweet life of Zack and Cody actor Sarah Michelle Gellar. Sarah Michelle Gellar from Buffy the Vampire Slayer has switched from stabbing her adversary's hearts to baking. In 2015, the former actress left the screen to co-found the baking kit firm Foodsters. Jack Gleason While King Joffrey endured a less than pleasant demotion from his royal position, actor Jack Gleason exited Game of Thrones on amicable terms in real life. Gleason abandoned acting after three years as the villainous boy king, choosing instead to pursue an academic career at Trinity College in Dublin, where he studied philosophy and theology. Kevin Jonas Meanwhile, one of his brothers is engaged to Sansa Stark, while the other keeps strutting his stuff on magazine covers. One of Jonas' co-owners, Jonas Werner Homes in New Jersey, is a custom home-building enterprise. With his wife, Danielle, he also has two children, a son and a daughter. Shaquille O'Neal Even when not in the limelight, he's had a successful career as a rapper, basketball player, and icy hot marketer. After retiring from athletics, Shaq went back to school and earned a master's degree in education and an MBA. As an honorary sheriff's deputy in Georgia, he has also relaunched his music career with a song about LeVar Ball. Vanilla Ice Vanilla Ice will take care of any drywall issues you may have. Vanilla Ice ventured into the real estate sector working as a house flipper many years after his widely mocked career as a rapper ended. Angus T. Jones Having spent the entirety of your childhood working with Charlie Sheen is enough to turn anyone's opinion of Hollywood around. Angus T. Jones, a former actor on Two and a Half Men, for example, stopped performing at the age of 21. Diddy's son, Justin Combs, launched the production company where Jones is currently working as part of the management team. Gene Hackman Gene Hackman, the actor known for roles in films such as Bonnie and Clyde and The Royal Tenenbaums, has decided to turn his attention to writing after nearly 50 years in the business. The 87-year-old Oscar winner has released five well-received novels in his second act as a novelist with Simon & Schuster and St. Martin's Press. Josh Saviano Weirdos of the 60s, Paul is in a much better mood than he was in his first one. After graduating from Yale, Salviano attended the Benjamin N. Cardoso School of Law of Yeshiva University, where he got his JD. He presently works as a lawyer in New York City. Al Green It used to be all about getting down with Al Green's music, but these days, he's more concerned with glorifying God. The Full Gospel Tabernacle Church in Memphis, Tennessee is where Let's Stay Together star preaches today. Taryn Noah Smith Taryn Noah Smith, best known for his role as Mark Taylor on Tim Allen's hit comedy Home Improvement in the 1990s, has turned his love for healthy living into a profitable company. Smith founded Play Food, an Oregon-based line of vegan cashew cheese spreads, after an ill-fated marriage at the age of 17 to a lady nearly twice his age. Charlie Corsmo Charlie Corsmo, best known for his roles in Hook and as tormented teen turned cool kid William Lichter in Can't Hardly Wait, has had a successful post-Hollywood career. Charlie, now Charles, was employed as a law professor at Case Western Reserve University after clearing the bar and working as a lawyer in New York City for several years. Al Franken Al Franken's next employment had to be as prominent after working for Saturday Night Live for more than two decades. As a result, Franken decided to turn his attention to politics rather than chasing new opportunities in the film and television industries. In 2008, Franken was elected to the Minnesota Senate, where he has remained ever since. That's all for today's video. Let us know how you like celebrities who now work regular jobs. I hope that you found this video informative and interesting. If you found this video interesting, do like and subscribe. 
And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. See you in the next video with some more interesting information and facts. And until then, stay tuned.